Hello everyone, Matsmas here. So I'm in my garage today and I had a bit of a brainstorm. I looked online on a stereo that you can make that's actually made out of an ammo box and I thought it looked really cool. And at my workplace, it's pretty boring listening to our local radio because they're absolute sh**. So I decided to make my own ammo box stereo because ammo boxes just look cool and stereos are nice to just put your own music on. Now, the ammo boxes that are online that you can buy pre-purchased are expensive as hell. They really are. They're pricey. They're normally around $350. Some of the high-end ones are like $600. They're beautiful um, stereos, but they're just too expensive. Then you got to throw shipping on top of that, and these are from the States or from abroad. I'm in Canada, so they just cost far too much money. So I decided, why don't I just make my own prefabbed from a normal stereo and chuck it into a normal ammunition box. Now, the ammo box I'm using today is a 30 caliber ammo box and I'm going to go through the materials I have right here. So what we have here is uh, a couple of different options. Now I chose two different options here. We have the Ion Flash Cube uh, wireless speaker with multicolored LED lighting. Ooh. Um, this is a Bluetooth speaker, pretty beefy, so I'm hoping it's going to fit in the 30 cal can. It has a remote, which is really important for me because at my workplace it's nice to just swap between music in case I put something really inappropriate on, which sometimes I do. Uh, here is our 30 caliber ammunition can, as you can see here, it's just a standard ammo can for 30 cal ammo, uh, 7.62. We've got here 200 round cartridges, M13. A couple of tools that I decided that I'm probably going to need, uh, some files, we've got some bastard files there. We've also got a little miniature hacksaw. I have a full size hacksaw, but it's just not going to work getting into the sort of area to cut things through. I'm obviously not going to be cutting on that side and we're cutting on the empty side, so I still keep that writing. I also have a gear tie here. Now, if you're wondering why I bought a gear tie, first of all, gear ties are just awesome, so I absolutely love those things for all sorts of little uh, bits and bobs you need to use. But this is actually going to be meshed into the shape of the item I'm going to show you next. So we're either going to try this guy or we're going to try this guy. So it's the Sony SRX X55. It's basically just a box, really, that you can um, put your Bluetooth on, you can aux cable, you can also get calls and good, good stuff like that. It's got a lot of buttons up the top there, and that would probably fit quite nicely, if you look at the shape of it, fit quite nicely in this area here. So that's what I'm intending to do with that. But before trying to do any of this, we're going to open this guy up, open the back up and see if we can remove this speaker, remove this as well, remove this panel, and see if we can individually slot each piece in. So we'll have the big speaker here, we'll have the little guy maybe here or on the other side, and we'll have our control panel probably somewhere like there where we can just still you know change the things and stuff and our remote just to flick it back and forth this guy doesn't have a remote which is a real pain in the ass I really wish it did but this is fully portable this is not so this means I can move this around anywhere I want this I cannot but it has the remote so I don't know it's pros and cons of each I couldn't find one that was perfect to meet the two this one was a hundred bucks this one was 160 bucks a little bit more pricey, we're talking about Sony Audio now, Sony are overrated as hell, we already know that, but uh, we're going to give the Ion Flash Cube a go and see what the audio comes out from there. I couldn't open it up in store, they didn't let me, it kind of sucks ass, but we'll give it a try anyway and see how it goes. What I'm going to try and do then is once I've checked to see if I can remove these parts, if that works, we're going to push this guy to the side and we're going to try and place these speakers in and drill little holes and all sorts of stuff. So stick with it guys, let's see how this goes. Um, I don't know if it's gonna take a long time or a short time, but I hope you stick with it and keep in touch with making this ammo box speaker. So first of all then, we're gonna try out our Ion Flash Cube. We're gonna open this sucker up, see well, it's already got a nice big hole in the side of it. That's just awesome, I'm really glad that uh, wasn't noticed in store. Not a big deal. We're gonna open this guy up <coughs> and see what it's like. Now there's a couple of videos on YouTube in regards to this guy. Uh, nothing fancy as a Russian guy or something doing a report on it. There's not much out there on it, so I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but we're about to find out. So we have some pretty nice cardboard packaging there. Let's get this sucker out. Now this guy looks like it's been in a dusty container for quite some time here. We've got uh, our packaging and again the same packaging at the bottom. So there it is. The Ion Cube-like cube. <laughs> so, this is the moment of truth. Now, I don't want to do much to this thing, because if I have to return it, then, you know, that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'm going to just whip this off here. So 
that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here it is. Here's the back. So I'm going to try and pop this guy open. Looks like we've got our uh, link for our Bluetooth aux in and our Bluetooth connector, which is awesome. Here's our instructions for this. There's a few screws on the outside here that we're going to have to remove. Um, looks like the sub pops out through there, which is quite nice. And as I said before, at the front here we've got our uh, our control panel, power, volume, skip, play, and I guess these things light up, so probably going to adjust the lighting system. I don't know how well this is going to split apart, but hopefully it does. I don't want to do too much to it to see if um, see if these guys are going to take it back from me. But uh, I'll pop it open, guys, and I'll get back to you in a sec. So guys, I just took the back panel off and it looks like it could be good news. Now, as you can see here, we have our aux link and Bluetooth and stuff. It looks like these circuit boards can actually be split down with a few screws here and taken off, which will be really freaking nice, because all I have to do is attach it to the back of my ammo can. Inside they've got some nice padding here, it looks like they've gone really low key budget. Let's see if we can get this stuff out of here kind of hard to do with this one hand, but we're going to give it a good try. So there's a lot of glue in here. Like I said, I don't want to really tear too much of this apart because I have to return this damn thing. But it looks good so far. Okay, so there's our speaker. So what I presume is there's going to be, I can see screws protruding through the bottom here. If I can annotate it somehow for you here. Get in on the screen. So there's some screws here, four of them down the bottom looks like <coughs> pardon me sorry guys I got a cold we can remove that speaker quite nicely I'm not too sure how that's soldered in there yeah it looks like they're soldered so we're gonna have to be pretty careful but this is gonna be just one simple unit um, the top here looks like it could be a little bit more control panel here looks like it could be a little bit more complicated we're gonna see what we could try and do with that again I don't want to do too much to this because we could wreck things and then I'd be um, but we'll keep going and see what we can do here. So stay in, stay in tune guys, stay, stay in tune. Uh, stay tuned guys. So I just noticed guys uh, for the front panel here to get access to those screws that I pointed out just before uh, the four screws that are going to be on the speaker here. <coughs> I apologize guys. There's actually three screws at the bottom that you can remove to take this panel off which I presume will then give us access to those four screws. So let's see how that goes. So again guys, a couple more screws you need to remove here. Let me just uh, get my phone out so you guys can see. Uh, there is going to be one at the top left hand side there. You can see in the corner. I'll try and zoom in for you. There's one here. One in the corner uh, in the center here. Another in the center here. And one more in the top corner. That is to remove our front panel to get access to the screws to remove our speaker. So we have our front panel off. It was a bit of a mission, but we did get it off in the end. So just to clarify, we have one, two, three screws at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six screws that you have to come through at the back of the unit there. As you can see here, we have exposed both the control unit, the tweeter, I think that is, and just the main speaker system. There's four screws that I'm going to remove next. And we're going to see how we can get this little control unit out. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five uh, screws there. And one, two, three screws there for this guy. We have to be very careful how we transition these two out of the way because they could potentially get damaged as we do so. So let's do the speaker first and then we'll carry on. Okay, so we had to do some cable disconnection, obviously, to get our speaker through that gap there. We did undo the four screws at the bottom. Obviously, I can't get my speaker through without disconnecting these cables. Just be careful, guys. They have put uh, red sealant on there and some sort of sealant stuff to prevent you from... Uh, here it is. Uh, to prevent you from, I guess, uh, ran with it, should we say. Part of my language. But, uh, yeah, it's just a few simple cables. Nothing too major. Just got to get through to that other one now for the top part of the speaker and we'll see if we can uh, finish this off. Ok 
Hey everyone, so I disconnected these components here, you're not going to see that great in this light but as you can see we've got a few more switches and cables to disconnect to allow to feed through and separate them this is a separate entity to our control panel here so we're going to disconnect some more connectors lay it all out for you and we'll go from there so guys here we are it was a mission to get there but we have finally split this down into its component parts as you can see here we have the control panel at the back we have all the unit plugged back into where it's supposed to be it's plugged into the main so i don't want to get too near to the main area there but we have our two speakers glowing beautifully beautiful little glow on them we have our control panel lit up beautifully there our power volume up and down play skip and our lighting i'm not going to mess around with the lighting too much right now i just want to make sure it's playing so we haven't really done anything yet. i have connected it to bluetooth let's see if it plays some music yeah <laughs> I have a horrible cough, <coughs> so it doesn't show my appreciation for this, but it works, so let's see if we can get the volume up. Oh. Let's wait until the bass kicks in. It's working guys, it's working beautifully. So what I think I'm going to do is take back the old XRS that we have here. Um, not that I don't love it, because I do, but this is going to look so much better and work so much better. Now we're going to try the remote here and see if this works. See, I just linked this up with my uh, iPhone here, iPhone 6. It linked up beautifully straight away as well. Uh, we're going to pull the tang out here and let's see if the remote works. Skip track. Yep, there we go. Let's see if the volume works. Yes! Beautiful, guys. So we are on to stage two. We are going to stick this bad boy into this bad boy and see if we can get some ammo speakers made a lot cheaper than $300. Okay guys, stay tuned, we're gonna keep this going. Woohoo!